Okay, today we're going to do the second part of the fourth homework, which is a repeated measures t-test. Which means that it's a within subjects, within groups design, which means that we have the same people in multiple conditions, actually in every condition of our study. So for this particular scenario, we have a shooting contest with soldiers who are either sober or who've had a few drinks. And so um, we'll start by setting up the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is going to be that the mean difference is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis that the mean difference is not equal to zero. So conceptually what we're saying here, <clears throat> excuse me, is that um, the null hypothesis is that we don't see any difference between the soldiers uh, when they're sober versus after they've had a few drinks. The alternative hypothesis says that there is going to be a difference, but we don't know if they're going to be better shots or worse shots. Um, the first step then is to set up the mean difference score. That's represented as a D with a line over it. It's the sum of the difference scores over N. So we're going to have to figure out what our difference scores are first. Um, so for our first soldier, Joe, um, the difference score is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. Uh, 12 minus 6 is 6. And then 0, 3 minus 2, 0, 6, minus 2, and 7. So if we sum our difference scores, the quiz we have to include the negative numbers. They sum to 20. So it's going to be 20 over n, which is 9, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Apparently, I've spelled Zebediah wrong, um, and Adi. Uh, 20 over 9 is 2.22. Okay. Our next step is to find our variance term uh, right here, which is S squared sub D. And that's equal to the sum of the different scores squared minus the sum of the different scores squared divided by N over n minus 1. So we need the sum of the difference scores squared. And so we'll set up a column here of difference scores squared. So 4, 36, 0, 9, 4, 0, 36, 4, and 49. Sum of our difference scores squared is equal to 142. There we go. That's the international sound of doing math. So 142 minus 20 squared divided by n, which is 9. There we go. We're writing numbers in today. And then that's over 9 minus 1 is equal to, we'll, we'll skip down a step or two, um, and we get 140. Um, well, let's just give the, that's, we just go with the answer. We'll skip down a whole bunch of steps. Um, and we get 12.19. Okay. The next step is our standard error term, S sub D. And that's equal to our variance term over N. So 12.19 over 9, all under a root sign, and that's going to be equal to 1.16. Uh, our next step is to find t. Now oh, we'll put it up here. This is our t obtained, and that's going to be equal to our mean difference, 2.22 over our standard error, which is 1.16. Uh, oh, I guess I should have put up my formula. Uh, it's mean difference over the standard error. 
Um, so we have that too. That's just kind of backwards. But the number we get is 1.9, which is not looking uh, very good for determining significance. We get our degrees of freedom. That's equal to n minus 1. There are 9 people. Minus 1 is equal to 8. We look up our t critical with 8 degrees of freedom. It comes out to be a 2.306. Now we compare our t obtained, 1.90, to our t critical, 2.306. And because our T obtained is less than our T critical, we fail to reject. We'll put that down here, fail to reject the null hypothesis, that there's no difference between our treatment conditions. So what this means conceptually is that there is no difference between um, the shooting, no sig statistically significant difference between the shooting of the soldiers when they're sober versus after they've had a few drinks. So, um, yeah, and so that is how to do a repeated measures t-test.